how do you sort data? Another one of those questions that you really need to know how to do since you'll be doing this constantly when working with data in Excel. Sorting data is easy to do in Excel. You can sort numbers using the sort button on the data tab. Let's try it out. There are many ways to sort data in Excel. Let's work through a few of them. In our first sheet, let's navigate to B1. Now let's use the sort feature to sort this column of numbers. So we're going to click on column B. Now we're going to go up to the data tab. And we just want to do a generic sort. So let's do from A to Z, which for numbers is from the smallest to the largest. As you can see, it sorted all of our numbers. And we can easily sort the numbers from the largest to the smallest or letters from Z to A as well. So back on column B, we're just going to come up here and click the Z to A button. And now you can see that it sorted it from the largest to the smallest. If you want to control what you're doing a little better, you can use the sort button to define the sort you want. So still using column B, we're going to come up here to the sort button. And we're going to tell it to sort on column B. Now if I look here, I can sort on values or if I had cells that were different colors or different font colors for the text or even icons for the cell, I could have used those. But we're just going to use values because that's all we have. And in here, smallest to largest, largest to smallest. Let's go ahead and click on smallest to largest and we'll click OK. And now we see we resorted it back to smallest to largest. Now what if you only wanted some of the numbers sorted and not the whole column? Let's go over to see sheet 2. So we're going to only sort a selection of the numbers. In order to do this, we must highlight what numbers we want to sort instead of just doing the whole column. So let's go ahead and highlight from B1 to B3. After I've done that, then I can do the sort the same way. Smallest to the largest or largest to the smallest. Or I can come back in here and do the sort on column B using the value. And I can do smallest to largest again. Same method, but all it did this time was sort what we had highlighted. Let's look at the sort button again. So let's click up here on the sort button. And we'll go over here to our order. We've used this drop down before. Let's drop down again. But instead of using the default, we're going to use the custom list. Now I may have one of these sorted in a different method. So what I want to do is actually say, for some reason, I want these sorted as 42, then 1, then 45. I'll we'll click Add. And then I'll click OK. And OK one more time. And you'll see that it sorted the way I told it to. Now this is just a little example. You may not have to do this, but there are reasons why you may want to sort this in certain ways and you can build your own defined sort list. You may want to start with Monday as the first of the week instead of Sunday. So however you want to do it. So we see that the order sorted in the order we specified. So this does come in handy. Remember when you create this custom list, this it is always there to use again. This is an Excel wide list and not just a list for this worksheet or workbook. When I close and open, it will still be there. So let's change to sheet three. What would happen if our column had a header row? Whether Excel sees the top row as a header row or not depends on how you have a setting configured in the sort feature. So let's highlight from B1 to B8. And let's go ahead and click on the A to Z. Excel did not see my B1 as a column header, so it just included it in the sort with the rest of the data here. But what if I wanted to have it as a column header? So what I need to do is, let's go ahead and make sure these are highlighted again. Let's go back up here to my sort button. And we have this little feature here. If this is checked, it tells Excel that my first row is a header row. If it's unchecked, it says all the data needs to be sorted. So let's go ahead and click that. And now we're going to do a sort on column A. 
Well, it's actually column B, but now it says A is the header row. So let's go ahead and do OK. So now we have it sorted. We still have that little sort header that's mixed up in there. We're just going to pretend like A is now our actual label. So A is up here. You can see when I check that little box, the selection changed. It changed from A1 to A8. I mean, from B1 to B8 to B2 to B8. So it did change. So how do we do multiple columns? Let's go to sheet four here. And we're going to look at the multiple columns. Let's just select both columns from B1 to B8. And we're going to do A to Z. Now remember, it didn't sort our first row because we have earlier changed this over to my data has headers and it's still there. So it just ignored that and it sorted from B2 to C8. And how did it sort? Well, when you start a selection, it's going to take the first column and it's going to sort by the first column. And that's what it did here. If I needed to sort by the second column instead of the first one, I need to use the sort box or the sort button instead of the quick. So let's go back up here to the sort. We're going to keep this checked. But now what I want to do is say sort by the letter. And now it sorts by the letter and it, these still sorted along with its corresponding data. Now what happened if I only want the letter column and not the number column sorted? So let's try that again. I'm going to go here to C1 to C8 and I only want to do the first this column. I don't want to do column B. So let's go back up here and let's hit this little button and now it's telling me something. Right now it's telling me hey you have other data that's close by and close by means it's in a adjacent column. Do you want to expand your selection include that or not? Right now I'm going to say nope I only want to call uh, column C and not column B. So it would have sorted the column C. It doesn't move this. Let's try it one more time. Let's do the Z to A. See how these sorted? These didn't. So yes, my data is now messed up, if you want to call it that, from what it was originally. But there's sometimes when the two columns are not corresponding and you just want to sort them. This little feature actually helps you out a lot because it keeps you from making a mistake. If you only highlight one column and you forget to do the other one and you hit the sort, and it'll say, hey, wait a minute, do you want it or not? It gives you a chance to include all the columns in your sort so you do not screw up your data. Okay, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to try this one more time. Let's change to sheet five. And we're going to highlight C1 to C8. And I'm going to say sort these. See how the warning popped up again because I have column D and E populated next to C. But this time I'm going to say, yeah, I screwed up. Let's expand. So I'm going to hit the sort. And you can see it sorted these. These are no longer in order, so it sorted those as well. These are no longer in order, so it sorted those. So it did pick up column C, D, and E. But what about A and G? Didn't sort those. It still screwed up my data if you consider the entire row of two, uh, row two data because it only does until it finds a blank column. So if it goes in there and it finds a blank column like it did column B or column F, it says I ain't sorting those because I'm assuming that you know they're blank. So it doesn't save you all the time, but it does help. You're going to have to actually look sometimes and say, look, there's a blank there. I'm going to have to manually sort this. So let's look at another catch. So I'm going to come back in here. Then I'm going to go C and D. And I'm going to do them backwards from largest to smallest. Hey, it sorted by C. D went along with it. Didn't sort my E because it's, you have more than one column highlighted. It doesn't expand to the third column. 
So that is a little warning that you'll have to work, watch out for. It can screw up your data. So let's try one more thing here. Let's go to six. And what I want to do is do a multi-level sort. So in my data here, I want to sort by the place and then the number. So I'm going to highlight all of them. In order to do this, I have to actually go to the sort button. We're going to say, I want to uh, sort by place, and then I want to add a level. And after you sorted the places, sort the numbers that correspond to them. And I want to hit OK. And we'll see that all place ones, place two, place three are together. We'll see that the numbers for place one are from smallest to largest. Now, it didn't sort by letter B because we didn't tell it to, but it didn't go along for a ride, so it included all of them because we had them highlighted.